Alexandra Abramova is here with you, and the next edition of the Sport Life program is on the air. Hello. Let's start traditionally with the most interesting news from the world of mixed martial arts over the past week. People in network are actively discussing the victory of the 10th number of the lightweight division, Rafael Fizio from Azerbaijan over his Brazilian namesake, Dos Anjos, who occupies the seventh place in the weight class ranking. On the night of July 9 till 10, the Moscow time, another fight night of the American promotion took place at the UFC Apex Arena in Las Vegas, as part as the main bout of the evening Fizio and Dos Anjos match. In the first minute, 15 seconds of the final, the fifth round, Rafael knocked out his opponent and moved to the finishing, but two blows later, the referee stopped the fight. The judges awarded Atema Fizio with a 12th victory with one defeat, while the athlete finished 8 of 12 fights with knockouts. After an unsuccessful debut in the promotion in April of the 19th year, where Rafael lost to Magomed Mustafaev by technical knockout in the first round, the athlete closed his defeat six times already. For the Brazilian, this exit was the 13th unsuccessful one with 31 winning performances. It is worth noting that the main fight of the UFC Vegas 58 caused a wide resonance among not only fans of mixed martial arts but also the cycles of fighters. Many felt that the referee stopped the fight too early without giving Dos Anjos the opportunity to get out of the situation. However, the Brazilian himself did not announce any claims against the fight stoppage. After the bout, the Ataman expressed a desire to find out who is the best welfare in sports and jokingly challenged tennis player Rafael Nadal to a fight. Very soon, the TV channel MMA-TV.com is preparing a premiere for its viewers. We are starting to show the tournaments of the JFC Pride League, the first and only promotion company in Russia that promotes fighters from 12 to 20 years old. The Junior FC Pride League is the first and only promotion of juniors in Russia. Its main task is to select the brightest and most talented guys to prepare them in future to represent their interests in professional leagues in Russia and around the world. Young athletes who have passed the qualifying rounds and signed the contract with the organization are waiting for the managerial support, the financial remuneration, assistance in entering the world of MMA arena and of course creating a media image. Most recently, following the results of the first two rounds of tournaments, David Samuel took the championship belt. The new qualifying round, which was attended by fighters from all over Russia, took place in the spring this year. The details of this interesting and emotional event for young fighters and their coaches can be found in Victoria Tuchovska's blog on our social network. And the viewers of the MMA-TV.com TV channel will now be able to watch the buzz and career growth of novice mixed martial arts stars on air every Sunday on 12 p.m. Meanwhile, on July 30, the MMA-TV.com TV channel will hold another high-profile tournament. The 54th event of the MMA series will take place at the Triumph Sports Palace in Liberty. As part of the main card of the evening of us, we are waiting for the long-awaited return of Maria Artukina after a serious injury. We have been waiting for Maria's new entry into the octagon of our promotion for a long time. The last performance of Artukina, both on our side and in fights in general, took place at the 33rd Super Tournament in Barwicha last year, where Golanzi Kamarova, an athlete from Kyrgyzstan who was making her debut in the MMA series tournaments by that time, was defeated by the submission 50 seconds before the end of the third round. In total, the representative of the Paris Wave Club has five wins, two losses, and one draw. A little more than a year has passed since Maria's last fight. During this time, she managed to get the title of Master of Sports in Wrestling, and we hope that she is in good shape. We will tell you about who will become Maria Tuhina's opponent in the MMA series. We will tell you about who will become Maria Tuhina's opponent at the MMA Series 54 Triumph Tournament in the next issues of the program. One of the most anticipated fights of the upcoming tournament will be the next entry into the octagon of the former N1 Global League fighter, the extremely experienced athlete with a record of 22-6-1, the representative of the Kuzna club, Viktor Kolesny. As part of the MMA Series, Viktor has already performed three times. He won his first victory in our octagon in October of the 20th year by a technical decision in the second round over Chakuo Kruban. The next opponent of Kolesnik was extremely dangerous Brazilian Diaz William, who lost to Victor by knockout in the second minute and the, se the next opponent of Kolesnik was extremely dangerous Brazilian Diaz William, who lost to Victor by knockout in the second minute and the 22nd second of the second round at the September SBC 35 last year. The Atlas' latest exit to the Octagon took place at the 51st Blacksmith Tournament. 
Yemen. Then the athlete turned on to be stronger than the Egyptian fighter Mahmoud Abdel Razak by a submission in the first half of the second round. At the moment, Kolesnik is on a winning path of four successful fights after losing to Elzimar Lima by a knockout in the first minute in February last year, and obviously is set to add plus one to the piggy bank of his victories. After a break of several months, the Brazilian athlete Monterrey Mexicano Jr., whose first performance last November at the 44 tournament of the series amazed all the spectators and organizers of the event without exception, returns to our octagon again. Alexander Duramanov, the representative of the Kuznik Club, who was on the winning path of five fights at that time, was supposed to receive the silver bout of the winner in the featherweight category following the results of the new bout. However, it was Wanderlei who interrupted his win-win streak, winning by technical decision at the beginning of the second minute of the second round. Despite a bright debut on our side, Mexicana still managed to be defeated once as part of his second appearance in the MMA series 47, where the judges gave the victory to Abdul Gaju Gaziev. After that, Wanderlei did not fight and devoted all of his time to training, so we have every chance to see a tough and uncompromising fight in the style of a Mexicano seeking to close his defeat. At the moment, the Atlas record is 12 wins and 5 defeats. And this was the Sport Life program and its presenter, Alexandra Abramova. Do not forget to subscribe on our social networks, follow the news of the series on the MMA-series.com website, and watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com. See you on air every Thursday.